kisses, my kisses. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. <laughs> so this is the damn disclaimer now. If cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you, resonate better with you without cussing, all right? To all of my returning subscribers, hey, boo, hey, hey, family. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. We a little dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we do cuss, all right? We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve, okay? Um, this is not a personal it's a general if you need a personal reading i'm currently only taking emergency readings until the 3rd of february <clears throat> 2019 all right and this will be from uh for the 1st to the 15th of february 2019 for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of cancers my cancers okay so um without further ado oh i would also like to thank everybody for my likes my shares my subscribes my comments you guys it really means so much to me i read every comment I may can't always um, reply because it be a bunch of y'all, okay, and it's 12 videos, so you just do the damn math, all right, Mocha be having things to do, but I do make sure that I read every last one of them and I acknowledge them, y'all, thank you so much for riding with me, thank you for the support, y'all, we taking 2019 in, in a damn blaze, do you understand, it's truly about embracing the true authentic self, being authentic within ourselves, and truly, truly allowing ourselves to not put limitations and put the brakes on our greatest potential you know and so with that <clears throat> pretty much we walk in the damn plank at this point spirit is truly pushing us off the damn plank so it's decision time cancel what we gonna do all right for one second let me cut off my little chop for school movie y'all know i'm from texas baby <laughs> all right all right baby so as I was meditating on your energy, uh, the, the messages that I really strongly got for the sign of cancer, all right, was uh, releasing, compromise, self-worth, vivid dreams, closing chapters, teacher, creativity, um, new opportunities, love, fear of falling, great fortune. Um, I also got marriage for you guys. So, y'all, this is going to be a very exciting month in the month of February. Y'all come in and let me know because shit's going to be popping, all right? You guys, it's something about... Jump out there, jump out there, jump out there. I, I kept hearing literally as I was shuffling the cards, jump out there, jump out there. So you guys are really getting ready to make some boss moves, but you're going to have to make them on blind faith. And for a cancer, you guys like to, you know, be more so structured on the moves in which you make. You're very intuitive and you trust what you feel. However, there's this bit of the unknown that you guys kind of have a fear of failing at you get what i'm saying and we can't live and dwell in that fear because what if you fucking win right all right so we're going to start off with your angel message all right for february for the month um so for the month for the sign of cancer this comes from the doreen um doreen virtue oracle angel message <clears throat> i'm sorry this is the crystal angel oracle okay but what you guys received was answered prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So just know that you are divinely guided. Just know that your spirit guides, your ancestors, God, the Most High, the universe, Mother Gaia, you know, whatever it is that you actually look at as far as well, whatever you call your higher power, your source. Okay, y'all know I'm not damn religious. I'm spiritual. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. But I definitely felt this fear of failing or this fear of not getting what it is that you wanted. Y'all push through with me. I'm trying not to lose my voice. We're going to push these damn videos out because I got to drop them jewels. I will not let the enemy, the entities, these four dimension, these fourth dimensional ass entities that is really trying to attack us with through our own fears, perception, doubt. You know, those things are that are painted illusions. They're not real. We just really got to face our shadow selves and look that motherfucker in the face and let them know, look, you can't live here no more. This side of me no longer exists. I'm no longer putting limits and putting the brakes on my damn self because I have the potential. I'm the motherfucking empress. I'm the motherfucking emperor. I have the potential to rule empires. So I'm no longer going to put the brakes on my damn self. Some of you guys have been your own worst enemy and spirit is really trying to shift that cycle of your life and move you to greater pastures. But some of you guys are really resistant. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to get into this love. What messages do you have 
for my beautiful sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of cancer from the 1st to the 15th of February in love. Thank you. And some of you guys may be leaving someone behind, all right, during this time. I feel like, <clears throat> again, that's that resistance. This could also be um, an earth sign in your energy, Capricorn, towards Virgo, that is, you know, doing that to you. I feel like you guys are really kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place with moving forward and making a decision due to the fear of um, financial lack during this time. So some of you guys may be tied to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you may have um, some type of um, financial ties or assets. You may have a family with this person. You may have some type of like a uh, business setting or some type of business, or you may have some type of like collaboration setting. All right. This could also be an Aries, Leo, but I definitely feel, I see, I feel a strong, um, strong Sagittarian energy here within y'all, uh, within y'all cards. Yeah. Again, having to do with assets. This could be the mother or father of your children, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys will definitely be working out some sort of compromise during this time. This could definitely have to do with an earth sign, all right? Some of y'all could find out that you have an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, and your energy giving to more than just you. And I feel like for some of you all, this is a lesson of self-work on, you know, am I going to continue allowing myself to be juggled? You know, for some of you all, this has to do with the earth and fire. Okay, or fire and water, but I definitely feel like there's a sense of two. Okay, for some of you all, you could be juggling two relationships, two business ideas, but I definitely feel like this is tied more so to love and assets as well as commitment and some form of ties like co parenting or something or something of the sort. I definitely feel like there's a call for a compromise during this time, though. And somebody is really having a hard time making a decision, but things will be balanced out in the month of February. But it is going to require for somebody to leave some people, places, things, behaviors, okay, behind, mindsets behind. For some of you all, this could involve uh, another Cancer Scorpio. Um, or a Pisces person, all right? But I definitely feel like there are, this is this is a time of uh, revelations, truth being revealed, okay? To take you into new shifts, new cycles, new paradigms of your life as far as expansion, all right? Some of, for some of you all, if you had to move away from somebody during this time, it's going to, it's just simply a catalytic situation to make you actually put that same damn overexerting energy of giving into your damn self, all right? I mean, some of you guys definitely have a fear of, y'all have a fear of moving forward, all right? Yeah, and you're moving forward to greater pastures, great new good karma, okay? The seeds that you've sown in the past, those thoughts of the positive things in which you want, the positive directions in which you want to move, they're manifesting, okay? Even in love. So don't put an expectation on a face as far as who you're expecting to give you this because spirit is saying you're only limiting yourself when you do that, all right? For some of you all, you're moving into... Some of you guys, there are going to be some type of secrets or some type of revelation that's coming to the surface. This could involve a water sign, okay? But this could also be um, some type of revelation that is found out through the justice system. But so the, those of you who are dealing with someone who um, you're married to, you could find out that this person had an outside child. Or if you're in a commitment with this person, you could be finding that out during this time that this person was juggling. But I definitely feel the sense of an undeniable damn truth, Okay. Y'all, don't beat their ass, because, you know, cancer, they be sleeping on y'all. Y'all crazy, crazy when you want to be. Y'all my babies and damn water babies. But, yeah, again, don't put an expected face, okay, to the outcome. You're still going to get what you want because, baby, you have done the work. But some of you, while you're moving into a new cycle, and I feel like you have this fear of being vulnerable because you have this fear of being hurt or disappointed by someone. Maybe this could be having to do with the marriage, okay? But some of you guys, um, there's a, also I'm hearing fear of judgment, fear of judgment. So some of you guys are staying in relationships due to uh, possibly like traditional uh, traditional views or how other outsiders are going to view a relationship. You don't want to be viewed as a failure. You don't want to be viewed as someone, you know, where shit couldn't be where, where there was no cover, you don't want to be viewed as someone who just failed or, or someone who just threw in the damn towel. But you know, I tell y'all this shit all the time. Y'all they talk about Beyonce. I love you know, y'all know I'm Barty get Barty, all right? Cordy, but you know, people still talk shit about her, but that don't that don't take away from the fact that sis winning. You understand? And so with that said, I definitely feel like it's your perception of things. People going to talk about you whether you broke or you balling, baby. So you're going to stop living your best motherfucking life. You're going to stop putting your best foot forward because the motherfucker got something to say. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that in 2019. That's some 2018-ish, 17-ish shit. We have evolved. We moving past that, all right? For some of you all, 
Some of you guys are waiting for a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to make a commitment to you or to give or, or for this equal give and take for this person. And I feel like for some of you all, deep, believe, deep below the damn surface, you're tired of waiting your damn self. However, it's the expectation. And for some of you all, the obsession around, you know, your desired outcome. Or this could be this person, y'all. Y'all know it can, it can go vice versa. But you definitely have new love on the horizon, but there's a need to let go. To let go of something and really trust the process of knowing, you know, that moving forward, everything is okay. You're done with that karmic cycle. You're done with the whole, you know, be a third party and, and be accepting to that shit. You're evolving. So the things that you accepted, the things that you once accepted is no more. And so that internal, that beating, that shit, that, that, that beat down, you know what I'm saying? That's happening with inside of you right now, baby. Spirit is saying purge, let that spirit be free because it's going only going to move you to the blessings that spirit trying to bestow onto you that you've been praying for. You manifested this through your thoughts, your actions, your affirmations, your petitions. For some of you all, uh, for with love spells, you manifested this love. You literally called this love to you. For some of you all, you really need to trust your dreams because you could be seeing this within a dream. But some of y'all are holding on to somebody who don't want to get right. This motherfucker has made a clear conscious decision to not make a decision. And that's the damn decision that they've made. And Cancer, you need to truly choose yourself and make an executive decision for the self to move forward and trust the process because Spirit is trying to give you that new new. That new booty, what that new booty on duty gonna do for me? You never know if you're gonna live in that fear. I'm just saying though. Some of you all, some of you all could be actually finding out some form of um finding out some type of secrets or Things being revealed in order to release you from marriages, long-time relationships. It's like catalyst situations that I spoke about before to do the damn dirty work that you that you made the damn decision not to do because you don't want to be the bad guy. For some of you all, you're really needing to trust, and it's going to take this this this. I'm going to say the spirit of optimism. Okay, you're going to have to trust that. Tr be more so optimistic to trust in the process as far as a reconciliation with the fire sign, okay? For some of you all, that is a secret that you're going to find out. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who could be trying to reconcile with the fire sign. Or you may find out that this person has done that. Didn't I tell y'all I felt that damn Sagittarian energy? Some of y'all could be dealing with Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with Aries. Some of y'all could be dealing with Libra. Yeah. But I feel like spirit is trying to assist you in dropping them damn burdens, baby. Ain't it heavy? Ain't it heavy? But a lot of you guys are resisting the process. Some of you guys definitely have everything in which you need, all the tools in which you need, not living in the past from a negative, a negative, pretty much from a negative aspect, but taking what you learned from the past, knowing that those doors are locked, closed, shut, clean, clean the fuck down, but we're moving forward with those lessons. Not living in it from a place of who hurt me, who did what, but living at it from a place of, okay, I've seen this shit before. You have shown me who you are and you started with this shit here. So let me note the self your ass and go ahead and just scratch you off the list because I don't got time for that shit. I know what I accept. I know what I want. I know what fulfills me. I know what my deepest desires are. I know what spirit is trying to do for me and manifest within my life that I deserve. And so what the fuck are you going to shit? You going to piss and get off the pot, period. For some of you all, there is this divine intervention happening, okay? For some of you all, you really wanted to manifest your family situation, equal give and take, a partnership, a, po a, a positive collaboration. For some of you, it definitely involves a Leo. But your strength and your, your strength and your ability to push forward and keep going, even in the midst of hardship, in the midst of, in the midst of, um, I'm sorry, in the midst of um, disappointments, you kept going, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys are very, very, very overburdened. You could be dealing with someone. You could actually, um, some of y'all could actually be dealing with someone who could be married. And this person, you could find out that this person have left someone else out in the cold, but they're not moving to you the way that you want them to, the way that you expected them to. And it's really, really, really burdening you. But I do see a reconciliation happening for you all. 
and you are definitely going to get what it is that you've been trying to manifest. However, you need it causes for more patience, not to sit up and just straight up wait for a person. For those of you who are reconciling, I feel like some of y'all are living in that fear. Well, what if this happens again? Whomever this is, this is a reconciliation. This person has somewhat evolved. I, for some of y'all, you are more evolved than this person, but I feel like this person has gone through some karmic shit. But there is definitely conversations coming about. And some of y'all have been seeing it in your dreams and you're kind of stressed out about it because you don't know when it's coming, how it's coming, how 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 the person ultimately is going to feel about the reconnection. So some of you guys have this fear of being rejected, yet you have this obsession of holding on to things that you cannot control and that is shifting during this time. Spirit, why is uh, the strength card here for my cancers? Why is the strength card here? Yeah. Internal conflict. That fear, again, of being rejected. All right, but I do see massive changes if you guys can actually be willing to be open-minded, optimistic, okay, and be willing to be forgiving to someone. Don't, I ain't saying forget the shit that they did. Learn from it. But if you're going to choose to continue loving this person and reconciling with this person, you're going to have to learn to let it go and wholeheartedly let it go. For some of you all, I definitely see... Um, uh, for those of you who are have been committed to someone for quite some time, I do see some form of engagement. Some of y'all may actually be getting some proposals during this time or actually be going to the courthouse or um, to some type of like pretty much some type of traditional structure. Somebody actually putting a damn stamp on it. This is what we are. Congratulations, baby, for those of you who are getting engaged. Though. Spirit, why is the world part here? Why is the world part here? Yeah. Again, an end of living in that fear of what if they leave me out? What if I'm not successful? What if this not going to work? What if they cheat? What if they not? And you really need to trust your intuition and trust yourself more and give yourself credit. If you felt that you felt it for a reason, baby, know that, okay? I definitely feel like with this moon card, yeah. But some of you all, some of y'all, it could definitely be... um. Some of y'all could find out that if your partner had was given to two situations or was connected to someone or there was a third party, it could have been due to some type of like financial. It was tied to like some type of finances. Pretty much somebody could have been out here home, man or woman, okay? Because, hey, Kendrick Lamar told y'all this D ain't for free. Do you understand? And I mean, it, look at They say, call me, you can call me a hoe. But you can't call me a broke one. Moving on. Let's get it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, some of y'all could find out that uh, your partner could have possibly been um, having affairs or connecting with someone uh, due to financial hardship. And for some of y'all, the karma out of that due to their own deception was a child. For some of y'all, you could find that out. Why is this justice card here? Yeah. The justice card is you you have a new love, good karma. I told you that guys from that from from the beginning, but I feel like you're in your head about moving forward, actually trusting the process, moving anew. You have this fear of failure, this lack mindset of what if I may not have it or what if I do not have it. You really need to trust yourself and the divine intervention and the divine that pretty much the divine the divine intervention and the interceding that is working for you, not against you. So if you're losing something right now, to be honest with you, it's truly not a loss, but an ultimate gain as far as the outcome that you can see beyond now. Okay? It's happening for you, not to you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> to, to clarify the temperance card, I have the six of spades here. So I definitely feel like some of you guys, there is victory, okay, moving forward, possibly with reconciling with the Sagittarian person. This could also be with the Piscean person, which I'm seeing with this Ace of Cups. For some of you all, there is victory in moving forward, possibly after uh, some form of deception or some form of heartbreak in the past, after clear, after clear boundaries are set, communication is had, compromise is made. Yeah. But someone is in their damn head because it's gonna require it's gonna require change. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, uh, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. It's gonna require this person to change, and it's very, very burdening to this person because now they know, okay, cancer cut their damn losses. I cannot come back, you know, to the situation unready, un uh, uh being unfulfilling to what I know that this person had told me a jillion, zillion damn times what they want. Okay? So with this Joker being here is the outcome uh, with the ace of diamonds here with it. I definitely feel like all new starts, truth and clarity being had, okay, a person telling you, look, I can or I can't get jiggy with this shit. 
And cancer making an executive decision to say, okay, I accept that. I forgive you. And I'm not going to look at it as time wasted, but time truly, time truly to truly get, get to know me. Get to know what I want. There's a need for you guys to truly protect your energy during this time because I definitely feel like those delusions, man, fears, looking that damn shadow in the face and saying, hey, you can't live here no more. This ain't your fucking place of residence because I'm a divine being, being divinely led on my path and on my journey. And I accept that fear of the unknown because I know that it's only going to move me into greater pastures. And for some of you all, with this wild card being here as the ultimate outcome, again, optimism. A person can only say yes and no. But at the end of the day, does that, does that really stop your growth? Does that stop cancer from shining? Fuck no. So I feel like you really need to trust the process and moving towards moving you towards happiness, moving you towards serenity, peace, joy. Because for some of you all, this is a blessing in disguise to walk away from somebody because you're moving right into the commitment that you've been in your damn head about getting from this person who just couldn't get right. All right. So that's what I have for my babies, my cancers. If you are needing that personal reading, hit me up. I am available. I am doing emergency reading, so they will be same day. All of that information can be found within the description. And I love you long time. Um, many peace. I'm going to say many peace. Many blessings. Much peace and success and prosperity to you guys, y'all. Get out your damn head. Trust the process. Namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.